Something is eating at it. <laughs> That's right. And what's ever affecting the iron is changing the uh, beauty of the iron. That's right. So your enemy That's right. changed. Yeah. But you didn't know it was your enemy at first because they was beautiful, like iron. Yes. But that feeling that's in him and in her yeah. come to surface. That's right. It's on the inside. That's right. But it begins to show outwardly like rust. That's right. And it alters the beauty of that so-called brother or that so-called sister. And then you see him or her for what they really are. That's right. You Trumpites. Go ahead, man. You evangelical frauds. Amen. If this don't make you see what this rusty Rust. president <laughs> is. That's right. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. If you can't see what this rusty president is Amen. By, now, by now, you ought to go to hell. That's right. That's right. So don't be surprised once he get out of office. Don't be surprised. Amen. I'm not making a prophecy, but don't marvel not. Marvel not. If you hear of Donald Trump mm -hmm. ministries. My Lord. We are blasted to hell. That's right. Oh, yes. We are blasted to hell. That's right. Listen. Never trust thine enemy. Don't trust your enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so like is his iron wickedness. Rust, so is what? His wickedness. So is what? His wickedness. Yeah. Now. Now the rust is compared to his wickedness. Right. What do rust and wickedness have in common? Spreading. That's right. Eh? That's right. Because that rust that farmers on the iron, if it go untreated, it starts spreading. Yeah. It starts going and then until the whole rail look horrible. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God, man, what happened here in America was just horrible. Yeah. That rust just that rust. spread it, oh, yeah. spread it, spread it, That's right. spread it. Like as iron rusted. Like iron rust. So is his wickedness. So is his wickedness. Though he humble himself. Though he humble himself. And go crouching. And yet go crouching. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Amen. He humble himself. And go crouching. Go crouching meaning it's, a form, it's, it's an image to make it look like he submitted. That's right. So I said, what they got to do with Trump? I'm about to show you. Yet take good heed and beware of him. That's what Trump did. Yes, he did. He got up there and, uh, you know, he, in, in a hypocritical way, criticized his followers for the violence. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, said that uh, Biden is going to be inaugurated and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. But crouching, crouching. Appeared to be humble. That's right. Just to get the media and critics off his back. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know. Another mm -hmm. scripture addressed the church and said it this way. Mm -hmm. Having a form yes. of, of godliness, godliness, but denying the power thereof. But deny the reality of it. How should we deal with folks like that? From such, turn away. No, hang with them. Turn away. Run with them. Turn away. Eat with them. Turn away. Turn away. You see how the Bible itemize all this? That's right. Who will take God? What did the Holy Ghost say? Having a form of godliness. Having a form of godliness. But denying the power there. All right, let's go back to where we were. I got so much to build so on. So much. Here. We were back Come in, on, the, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, now verse 11. Yeah. Though he humble himself and go crouching. Though he humble himself and go crouching. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Pay attention. That's, in other words, right. don't let the humble appearance. Yeah. Take the, good the, heed. The, 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 the soft, timid sound speech. That's right. That's uh, right. I'm, I, God really worked it today. <laughs> That's right. Oh, God, God really done. I'm, I'm, I'm so beside myself. Oh, Come on, Jay. what would I do? Yeah. All that passive hypocrisy. That's right. Because even the devil know it's going to sucker somebody. Yes, it will. It's going to trick somebody. Oh, yeah. You see, a lot of you folk think standing up for God, you got this little passive, weak, watered down, timid voice. And someone preach with ballet shoes on. <laughs> That's right. That's why they say I preach. They say that Jennings, he preached like he's mad with everybody. <laughs> he ain't never happy. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
Glory to God, I feel good right now. I'm so good. <laughs> That's right. Can you see what I'm telling you? That's right. That's right. If you've been used to sugar, yeah. it is hard for you to adjust oh, yeah. to good, wholesome food. Yeah. If all you've been getting is cotton candy and bubble gum and all of that stuff, and now you got to eat some good collard greens, turnip greens, and good chicken. You know, I often make the parable where you take a child, that mother give it, I'm going to start feeding it from the jar, and give it that fruit. Mm -hmm. Man, that child love it. Yeah. But I always love to see a baby face <laughs> when it had its first exposure. Yeah. The green vegetables. Yeah. Man, you see something. Me and my wife got seven kids. We done lived through it constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they look like the spirit came on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> my oldest daughter was a baby, and you, my, my wife would give that fruit cup and whatnot and give it a fruit and whatnot. I was like, Dad, what are you going to give the vegetables? You say, oh, I am. <laughs> and I remember, I think the first jar was green peas. Mm. <laughs> green peas. Yeah. Amen. And uh, Dottie put a little bit on the spoon. First, she gave her the fruit, a little bit of the fruit cup first, setting her up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, Britt was so happy. I looked around, kicking. <laughs> Dottie got those green peas. <laughs> Put that in Britney's mouth. Britney looked and just said, <laughs> eh? As a child, she knew. <laughs> it, it, to her, it was like the presence of evil. <laughs> so what mothers got to do? They mix it yeah. with the fruit cup. Yeah. They get it in there. Feel us? These men today are sent to you from the devil. That's right. For one purpose. Rob you of your opportunity to go back with God. That's right. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. If the preacher you have is truly of God, you should never have to find yourself fighting with him to believe something that's in the scripture. That's right. Huh? That's right. Anytime you got a fight with the man about something in the scripture yeah. that we got to do yes. right then that's a sign he's a false prophet that's right I want to say well how can you say that Pastor Jenner Jesus said my sheep yes will hear my hold it he didn't say right away my sheep will understand no he didn't say that no he said, my sheep will hear my, my voice. He didn't say you will understand it first. No. Because you got to hear it before you can consider it. That's right. He wants you to hear it first, then consider what it said. Then he said, I give you the understanding in all things. In all things. You see how God have it. That's right. So you that got to argue with bishops and fake apostles, you got to argue with Ernie and Bert. And Big Bird and Oscar in that garbage can that he called a check. That's right. That's right. About something in the Bible. Amen. Yeah. And you say God sends you? Amen. We as ministers of God must say amen, amen. to whatever God says. That's right. We can't back off of it because we ain't up to it. No. That's our problem. That's right. We just got to come up to it because it. God said it. That's it. That's it. That's right. When God, listen, God don't make me preach something because I'm up to it. No, no. That's true. Did you, you didn't know that? That's right. God said to the apostle, preach the word. Preach the word. He didn't say, wait till you're up to it, then preach it. No, preach the word. Someone said, you mean to tell me men in the Bible preach things and it wasn't up to it? Paul preached the word of God by God's permission and then said, oh, wretched man that I am. That I am. Who shall be able to deliver me from this body of death? God don't care you ain't up to it. He said, preach it. Preach, and preach if you try word. to draw back, the spirit of God will come over you and force you to preach it. That's right. That's right. Holy men of God spake as there was what? Moved. There was what? Moved. Or 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why a man got to have the Holy Ghost. Yeah, because his flesh might make him draw back. And the Holy Ghost say, oh, no. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Try to deviate that subject because he's condemned. Yeah. But the Holy Ghost in him will push that yeah. word of God out. That's right. Guess got to come. Hallelujah. That's Guess right. Got to come out. That's right. That's how the will of God works. That's right. Holy men of God speak it. They were moved by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Why? Because the Holy Ghost may want to lay him out. Yeah. Holy Ghost will go right to a scripture and slap him right in the face. That's right. Remember that commercial that talked about heartburn and say hey, if your food attack you, that food be smacking you. That's the way the word of God is. That's right. That word of God smacks the preacher. Amen. Any preacher get up and act like he's so far up there with God and say, well, ain't nothing in the Bible bother me. He's a child a of child. hell. Amen. Amen. That's right. What did he say? Back in Ecclesiastes 12, still at verse 11. Real quick. Though he humbled himself and go crouching. Yes. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. Yeah. And thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. All right, let's go back to where we were. Give me the fire. Uh, get one more. I got come one on, more script, Come on, Wes. My God, he's on a reading the, spree. Come the book on. book of Ecclesiastes <laughs> chapter 12. Uh -huh. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. He's trying to make up 12. for lost time. He's been away for about a month and he's trying to catch up. Come on. <laughs> in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Follow me in your Bible. Give chapter and verse again. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 16. That's what? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. An enemy. Enemy. Sounds good. Speaketh sweetly with his lips. Yes. But in his heart. In his heart. He imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Wow. Amen. Is that the truth? Amen. Amen. You, 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 you Trumpites. That's right. Uh, you, he, 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 he got up there and just tell you to fight, 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 fight. Yes, he did. Told you you have to go down there and storm the Capitol. <laughs> That's right. Amen. And you like a fool went. For a while he will abide with thee. For a while. Amen. For a while. For a he, while. He, he abided with you for a while. He was up at the podium. You was out there talking all that talk. That's for right. For a while. For a while he will abide with thee. Then what? But if thou begin to fall. If you begin to fall. He will not tarry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I told you it's all Bible here. All Bible. That's right. Give chapter and verse, William. In the book of, in the book of Ecclesiastes <laughs> chapter 12. Oh, this is so beautifully outlined. Amen. Uh-huh. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 15. So Trump had the rally and talking all that talk. Go fight. Go fight. Go <laughs> fight. Go fight. Go fight. Go fight. Just, just twist again. Just turn. Twist it. Go fight. Take back the government. Take it back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What happened? For a while he will abide with thee. For a thee. while. Amen. He hung with you. But if thou begin to fall. And believe me, they start falling. He will not tarry. You couldn't find him. That's right. That's right. Sent you out there on the front line. Amen. And the FBI is hunting you down yeah. like bloodhound. That's right. What did you gain? Amen. Nothing but embarrassment. Yeah. For following a fool. That's right. That's the danger Thank for following a fool. Fool. Amen. Whether he's a religious fool or a political fool. That's right. That's right. Fourth chapter, First Timothy, if you will. Now in the book of First Timothy, chapter four, and at verse one. All right, son. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Ah, glory be to God of Moses. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Holy Ghost talks that in the latter time, in the last days, some shall depart from the faith. Some will leave the faith. Depart from the belief of God. What are they going to do? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Seducers. Amen. Tricksters. Yeah. Con artists. That's right. And. And doctrines of devils. There's a doctrine that comes with tricking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The devil doctrine is just lies. That's right. Well, a person can have a doctrine in the political arena. Yeah. From the devil. That's right. And then try to integrate it with scripture. That's right. This is what so many out here are doing now. Yeah. And America's not going to get no better. Viewers, viewers, viewers. Uh, you better go back to the scripture about a hypocritical nation. I got to finish that finish up. That then we go back to Timothy, why it comes to mind. So Amen. much coming to my mind. And uh, I have to gather the fragments that nothing be lost. That's right. America is a hypocritical nation. Mm -hmm. And here you are, viewers. Here you are. <laughs> I want to say, Pastor Jennings, would you say if any of them was in First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and would have ran in there, they would have went to jail. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
fact, I, 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 you should call me so I can cuff him. <laughs> no, that's right. I'll cuff you. Cuff him, that's right. Grab you by the seat of your pants and throw you in a paddy wagon myself. Amen. The Bible says the law is made Amen. for the lawless. Knowing this. Listen at this. Now in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 9. Knowing this. That the law is not made for a righteous man. The law ain't made for them that do right. But for the lawless. But for them that's lawless. And disobedient. It was just as lawless, my lawless. God, and rowdy and like <laughs> mad animals. That's true. That's right. Mad animals. That's right. That's right. It's a disgrace. It's yes, it sad. Is. Yes, it is. I pray for the families that lost loved ones. Yeah. And I pray that you turn to God and hear the word of God and repent of your sins. That's it. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's why the truth of God is just so outstanding because we deal with all the subjects. Yeah. Because the world and the manifestation of the world mm. is right in that book. That's right. We can go to the book That's and right. find the deeds of humanity. That's right. All right, let's see what kind of nation this is, Williams. Back in Isaiah chapter 10 and at verse 6. What is it? I will send him against an hypocritical nation. A hypocritical nation. And against the people of my wrath. And you know what? We're against America. Again, That's right. We're not against everything America do. We're just against what America does. That's against God. Amen. And then you got the nerve to try to do it and say the Lord is pleased. How in the... Let me show you how this seducing spirit in Trump was so strong. Mm. You can go back in the archives yeah. of every election in America. You won't find no period mm. where a bunch of so-called preachers, churches, Church, right. fell under a prophecy spell. That's right. About no man, right. whether he's Democrat or Republican, to get in the White House. That's right. Never in the history of America yeah. have a mass crowd yeah. of so-called Christians yeah. got under a spell yeah. to put a man in the White House. That's right. And so willing to lie to say, God said it. Amen. It had never happened in America. No. Why did God let this happen? Yeah. To manifest the darkness that posed as light. That's right. Because God warned us about false prophets that come in my name. Yeah. You better give me the 23rd chapter of the book of Jeremiah yeah, and say, yeah. I have dreamed. That's right. I have dreamed. And here, God ain't told you nothing. That's right. So God allowed these men and women to prophesy by the moving of hell. Amen. Amen. And then allow it not to come to pass. That's right. To manifest their hypocrisy. Jeremiah chapter 23. Hey, listen at this. Jeremiah 23 and verse 25. All right. I have heard what the prophet said. Oh, I've heard what the prophet said. That prophesied lies in my name. And did it how? In my name. And you can hear all over social media. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord said yes, that one false prophet I was listening to briefly this morning until I had to laugh. To me, it was a comedy hour. <laughs> he said this big light came in back of his head. My Lord, my Lord. Probably was the police about to pull him over. <laughs> Big light came in the back of his head. My Lord. Then he said it, he felt though it felt like it was a scene from Batman. What? <laughs> Why don't you just stop being a joker? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. They come with the most dramatic folly. Yes, they will. Just like Ahab. That's right. That's what Ahab did. That's right. He got all them 400 liars and uh, they tell Ahab, go on up and prosper. Up the and Lord prosper. give it to you. Go yeah. on up and prosper. Yeah. Uh, Ahab was lust for the one of some territory called Ramoth Gilead. That's and right. he got all these false prophets together to, in, to impress Jehoshaphat. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets. Notice this in the book of Kings real quick and then I want to go right back to where we were. Back in 1 Kings 22 at verse 6. Yes. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. And what? About 400 men. About 400 liars. And said unto them, shall I go against Ramoth Gilead? Shall I go up against Ramoth Gilead? To battle, or shall I forbear? And what happened? And they said, Go up, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. How many was it? 400. 400 men. Yeah. 400 All men. in America, never in the history of this country, yeah. have anybody ran for office 
And then the spirit of that devil yes. swept through America and all these evangelical fakers, Pentecostal fakers, yeah. some Baptist fakers, some apostolic fakers yeah. was anointed by Satan. That's right. I have heard what the prophet said. Was anointed by Satan. Amen. And they all said with one voice. Yeah. Trump will win. Trump will win. Just like Ahab liar said. That's right. Go up and prosper. Go up. Because the, the Lord. Shall deliver it into the hand of the king. But there was somebody that had a rep. <laughs> That's right. In the kingdom. That's right. His name was Micaiah. And, and Jehoshaphat said. And Jehoshaphat heard all them fellas yelling. Said to Ahab what? Is there not here a prophet of the Lord now, besides? Now wait a minute. If all them fellas was of God, yeah. he wouldn't have asked that. No, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have asked that. Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides? What? That we might inquire of him. And what did Ahab say? And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, there is yet one man. Well, that lets you know Ahab knew the Lord wasn't in those 400. That's right. If, if, he, if he was, why didn't he just turn around and say, well, look, we got 400 Lord's yeah. men right 400. here. Yeah. yeah. We got 400 of the Lord's men right here. That's right. But Jehoshaphat inquired of a man of mm -hmm. God. There is yet one man. We only found one man, Micaiah, the son of Embla. By whom we may inquire of the How Lord. How did Ahab feel about him? But I hate him. Why? For he doeth not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. That's where you feel about the truth of God. You hate it. That's right. Because we tell you the truth about what's going on in this wicked, hypocritical nation. That's right. Amen. Never in the history of And I want you to think of this, viewers. Yeah. Think of this. You don't believe me? Go back to the archives. Go Google. Google it. <laughs> That's right. Look at when Kennedy ran. Yeah. Look at uh, when Barack ran. That's right. Look at when Roosevelt ran. Yeah. Hoover, Lincoln, N Nixon. That's right. Carter, the peanut president. <laughs> Amen. Never Amen. in America history where all of these so-called so Christian leaders yeah. had this spell come over them yeah. that a particular politician, whether Democrat or Republican, yeah. saying with one voice, that's right. the Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said yeah. that's what I want you to pay attention to. That's it. With one voice, countless of religious leaders yeah. that claim to be Christians yeah. said with one voice, mm -hmm. Trump was going to win. That's right. And not one of them that said it yes. was a man of God. That's right. Not one of them that said it yeah. was a woman of God. That's right. They were equal to those false prophets yeah. among the 400, the 400 in the days of Ahab. That's right. 